In this video, I'll discuss identifying points on graphs, or more specifically, identifying points on the graphs of linear equations. A linear equation's graph is a straight line. A linear equation is an equation in two variables where there's not a power other than one on the variables. That graph is a straight line, and an ordered pair, an x and a y, is on that line if substituting the values for x and y into the equation results in a true statement. For example, the equation x plus y equals 10, like all linear equations, has an infinite number of solutions. For example, 10 comma 0, if I substitute a 10 for x and a 0 for y, that would equal 10. That's one solution of the linear equation. Another solution would be 4, 6. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Another solution that's different from the first is 0, 10. When x equals 0 and y equals 10, that's also a solution to this equation because 0 plus 10 would equal 10. If we look at the graph of x plus y equals 10, you can see that those three points would all be on this graph. The point 10, 0, the point 10, 0 is this point on the graph. The point 4, 6, 4 to the right on the x-axis, 6 up on the y-axis, is also a point on this graph, one of the infinite number of points that exists on the graph of x plus y equals 10. Additionally, 0, 10, a third point on the graph, 0, 10 would be right here. There's an infinite number of points on the graph of a linear equation and an ordered pair, x, y, any x, y is on the line if substituting those values for x and y results in a true statement. Now, let's practice identifying points on graphs of linear equations without actually looking on the graph. For example, let's determine if the point 4, 3 is on the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18. To determine this, We'll substitute the first value in the ordered pair for x and the second value in the ordered pair for y into the equation and see if that results in a true statement. If it does, then yes, 4, 3 is a point on the graph. And if it does not result in a true statement, then the point 4, 3 would not be a point on the graph. So substituting a 4 for x would result in 3 times 4 as the first term. Substituting a 3 for y would result in 2 times 3 for the second term on the left side of the equation. And we're testing to see if that equals 18 or not. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. And that sum is 18. Substituting a 4 for x and a 3 for y does result in a true statement. So to answer the question, is 4, 3 a point on the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18? That answer is yes, it is a point on the graph. If we were to draw the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18, 4, 3 would be one of the infinite number of points on that graph. Let's try another. Is the point 5, 4 on the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18? Well, again, we'll substitute the first value 5 for x and the second value 4 for y, resulting in this time 3 times 5 plus 2 times 4. And we're testing to see if that's 18. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 4 is 8. And this is going to be more than 18. 15 plus 8 is 23. This is not a true statement. So no, the point 5, 4 is not on the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18. Finally, let's test negative 1, 9. Is negative 1, 9 a point on this graph? Well, we'll substitute a negative 1 for x and a 9 for y. See if that equals 18. Substituting a negative 1 for x and a 9 for y results in 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 9. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, 2 times 9 is 18, and negative 3 plus 18 is 15. 
which does not equal 18. So no, the point negative 1, 9 is not on the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 18.